all-star coaching appearance in the last three years. The Kings at uh, 34 and 17 at the break. That's the second best record in the West right behind Dallas. Well, I thought maybe Isaiah would bring in one more big man to rebound the basketball in case Shaq misses it. Well, he hits one of two, and the game is tied at 136. They have the full clock. And apparently there was a problem with the uh, the clock. <laughs> it just stopped. The shot clock should be turned off right now. They can run it all the way down. Well, we're down to 10 seconds remaining in overtime. And Michael has the ball. Again guarded by Sean Marion. The fadeaway. Yes! With four and eight ten seconds remaining. The West takes a timeout. Michael Jordan to hit the game winner at the end of regulation has just given the East a two-point lead. Marvin, as we see, Michael takes the fadeaway again over the outstretched arm of Sean Marion and just hits an incredible shot right there. Again, we see it. Marion gets up into him. He's going to force him to take a tough shot. The fade, think about the strength you need to get that up. That was his 26th field goal attempt tonight. It takes a lot of energy to get this type of shot up and in. And at the end of regulation, the West failed to call a timeout so they could advance and take a last shot on Jordan's Here they inbounded the ball instead of taking the timeout. Now it's in the backcourt with no timeouts left and only three seconds to go. 36 minutes. Bill Russell. Among many former All-Stars in the crowd. There's a 13-time a All-Star. Three seconds to go in overtime. Mark, what happened when Jason Kidd came down for the East, he looked up at the clock and was confused for a second. He pointed to the official because he didn't realize when they inbounded, there was 23.1 seconds under 24. So they only turned on one of the clocks, not both of them. Jason thought that there was a problem, so he almost stopped and was pointing to the official, then continued on. He realized what had happened. You know, there was a problem with the clock. It stopped momentarily. However, now three seconds remaining. Garnett will inbound. The East up by two. Wallace applying the pressure on the inbound. It's broken up by Kidd, played by Brown, Myers, and is fouled. With one second remaining, he was fouled in three-point territory. He'll have three shot attempts. Wow. Jermaine O'Neal looks like from here, he runs out almost a steal by Jason Kidd. Now, as Jermaine O'Neal goes for it, right there we see the body contact. It definitely is behind the three-point line. Not a smart foul by Jermaine O'Neal as Kobe goes to the line with one second remaining in overtime. And now the East lead is one. Kobe Bryant, an 83% free throw shooter. You recall with 10 seconds left in regulation, he missed a free throw. Looking to tie. It comes down to the third shot. Michael Jordan goes over. Try and bother Kobe Bryant. Surprising. Kobe missed at the end of regulation and now missed here. I would have counted him for all three. Only one second left. And he has tied the game.